Hey there, welcome to I Can, I Am, I Will. The podcast is on to motivate and encourage you so you can build your confidence and get empowered. Yesterday we talked about objectivity and today we're going to talk about feedback. Why feedback is important, how it's going to help you grow, and what we need to do in order to reject feedback sometimes, in order to maintain our confidence and our power. Because that is what we're here to do. For those of you who are new, we talk about confidence and empowerment and topics and concepts that are going to help you build your self-empowerment and your confidence so you can live a life that you will love. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already. I don't know why you would not have. (laughs) You can contact me, get articles, see transcripts, and support the podcast at canandwill.com. Yesterday I talked about objectivity and why it's important to look not only at situations, but also at feedback with objectivity and how objectivity can help us grow. Now I want to talk about feedback and what feedback is. By definition, feedback is information that is used to grow. We get feedback all in our lives. It could be at work. It could be from partners, friends. We're getting it all around us. However, not all feedback is created equal and not all feedback is crafted for us to grow. A lot of people say, or I've seen anyway, uh, a saying like all feedback is good feedback and I completely disagree with that. (laughs) I mentioned in an episode before how I was in a business meeting and I gave a presentation and I was looking for constructive criticism and one of the people in there said they would never, they would never buy my product. That's not like, I don't appreciate that feedback. They're not giving me anything constructive there. They're saying personally they wouldn't buy it because I don't have a degree. Okay. (laughs) Like, That's not really, that's their limiting belief. They're projecting a limiting belief and then labeling it as feedback. So I do not believe that all feedback is good feedback. Maybe in a sense that you can use it to spot other people's limiting beliefs or you can use it to build your interpersonal communication skills and have a empowered way of responding to that by saying like thank you and then not being emotionally like charged by someone's negativity but I personally still do not think that all feedback is good feedback it's definitely not all created equal however feedback is extremely important especially if we are working for our betterment Because when we get feedback, it can help us to grow. I talked about this yesterday with objectivity. If we get feedback and we look at it objectively, it can help us grow in two ways. We can reject the thoughts and statements of others so we can reflect on it, take an empowered position, say, they thought this, but like, nah, I don't don't believe it. And we can reject the thoughts and statements of others, not let them define us in a negative way or not let them define us in a way that we don't think is apropos to how we are or we can use feedback to make a change so when we get feedback it's important to look at it objectively that's why we talked about objectivity yesterday and then when we get feedback it's also important to consider the source A lot of people are not equipped to give effective feedback. It could be because they lack emotional intelligence. It could be for a lot of different things.
So when we receive that feedback, consider the source for a few reasons. Consider it for the fact, do they have a good critique? Are they giving us feedback from a compassionate and loving place? They're just not emotionally literate to able to be able to communicate it effectively? Or are they giving us feedback from an emotionally literate place? And should we just reject this feedback? Are they not able to give effective feedback? For instance, when I was talking about um, overreacting in 76, like uh, someone judging or critiquing your emotions, if they are emotionally illiterate, then that's not, and they're saying like they think you're overreacting, that might not be effective feedback because any emotion to them might seem like an overreaction because they're emotionally illiterate. (laughs) When you build your confidence and you build your self-empowerment, then you will be able to consider this. So I do want you to operate with the idea that feedback is important. Not all feedback is created equal. And not all feedback is good feedback. Operate from that place and work to not get defensive when you get feedback. Because when you get defensive, then the emotional part of your brain is going to start working and then the logical part of your brain is going to be turning off and then you might reject feedback that you receive and you might be missing out on an opportunity for growth. And the overarching idea, the main goal here is to accept feedback from a place of empowerment, from that empowered place. Someone gives you feedback, you understand that you have the the power to reject the thoughts and statements of others. That's episode 71. You have the power to reject the thoughts and statements of others. However, feedback is important and can contribute to growth. So it takes that... um, that idea of us having the ability to reflect and then decide. And we need to do that from that objective place in order to make sure that we are not giving ourselves the short end of the deal to make sure that we're not rejecting feedback that's going to help us. Interestingly enough, recently I had someone who told me that they were emotionally illiterate? They told me, they're like, yeah, like I'm working on figuring out my emotions. I'm very disconnected from my emotions. It's something they're actively looking on. And then something happened and they told me that they thought I was overreacting. And I responded to them. I said, you're allowed to think what you want to think. And then they said it again. They said, I think you're overreacting. And I said, well, you're allowed to have your thoughts. <laughs> and then... I ended up leaving the situation. And when I got home that night, I thought like, was I overreacting to it? And I took an objective view to it. Considering the, the details of the situation and what took place. I definitely think that the situation deserved a strong reaction. However, I felt that my reaction, I got stuck in it. So I think that I responded appropriately, but then The moment had passed and I got stuck in that strong reaction and it was hard for me to move forward from that strong reaction. So then I acknowledged that like, okay, so I got like stuck there. Why did I get stuck there? There's something going on here. How can I work through this? And then I actually got the book. Stop overreacting. I started reading I was sort of reading about it and I figured it out. I was triggered by something that was deep set. And then I realized that I was putting pressure on the situation that the situation did not call for. And then now I'm moving forward from a much better place. So I took that feedback in. I considered the source someone that is emotionally illiterate. <laughs> I removed myself from the situation. And then once I was in my safe space, once I was home, 
I looked at it objectively. I acknowledged that even though that they are, are an emotionally illiterate person, I still looked at the situation objectively and I realized like, wow, like, you know what? I kind of did. I feel like it was a little like strong. Like it was hard for me to let go of the strong emotion. The strong emotion was valid in the beginning, but then it it, it should not have continued on for so long. And then I made a positive change and I feel so much better. I feel so much confident more, I feel so much more confident and I feel empowered. And that's what I want for you. I hope that all of this makes sense. With that, we're going to end with our eye firming statements. You can say them with me. You do not have to. You can do whatever makes you feel confident and comfortable. Are you ready? <laughs> I can. I am. I will <laughs> have a great day.